I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Everyday Uses of Biology. All right, so biology is a study of life. And so uh, obviously we are alive. We are using biology right now as we're being alive. And some uh, common ways that we use it in everyday life are gardening. So plants are also alive and they need the proper nutrients. And they also need to have the correct conditions. They need sun. You can't put them in freezing temperatures unless they're very specific plants. Uh, so every time you're thinking about different conditions that a living creature would need, you're thinking about biology. And so this isn't limited just to plants, but yourself and your own health. So what your diet is, is biology and how you exercise. And of course we have other fields because we are humans and so there's enough information that we care about diet and exercise to have our own fields, but they're all under the umbrella uh, characterization of biology. Now, if we want to get really uh, nitty gritty with actual stuff we'd learn in a biology class, we can go into some basic uh, gene expression stuff. We'll see if a parent that has brown eyes, one parent has brown eyes, and another parent has blue eyes. So the way that genes work is that you have uh, two little slots and they'll be filled with the genes from your parents. And so uh, if you have a big R, this is dominant. If you have a little r, this is recessive. So the way that biology works is that uh, between brown and blue, uh, brown is dominant, so it's uppercase, and lowercase is recessive, so it's blue and lowercase. And so if you have blue eyes, you have to have both recessive genes because if you have one uh, uppercase or a brown gene, it's basically like a trump card. So you won't be able to have those blue eyes anymore. So if these two people have a kid, uh, there's the kid is going to get one from each of them. And it's definitely going to get one of these little r's because that's all this parent has to offer. And then it's going to get uh, either uh, this uppercase brown gene or lowercase blue gene and it's completely up to luck. So let's say this time it gets this lowercase and then that means that kid will have blue eyes. But let's say they have another kid a few years later. Again, they can only get a lowercase from this parent and let's say this time they get the uppercase R so they're going to get brown genes and they're going to have brown eyes. This is a little bit more into the science of biology, uh, but it's one way that you can use uh, basic biology to predict the eye color of you and your friends, children. All right, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Everyday Applications for Biology.